There we go. Nice. Didn't take long. No. Feels like a decent one, too. Right on. She just started. I'm with Blake Tollefson, St. Croix Pro Staff today doing some early season winter trout fishing. And look at this thing to start us out. Wow, what a beauty. Holy cow, Blake. That is awesome. That's not a bad way to start. Real nice fish. We're on about nine inches of ice. Blake, talk about what we're doing today. Yeah, so we're, we're targeting these early ice rainbows. Um, now is kind of the best time to get out here just because there hasn't been a lot of traffic yet. Looks like you set us up in a really good spot. Nice fish to start us out. This yeah. is gonna be a fun show. Good start, Blake. Absolutely. Man, just keep racing in. So they're just tearing all over in they the water are. column. Huh? Yep. Never fished rainbows through the ice in all these years, so this is a new experience for me. There we go. Uh, seems like another decent one. We always had a couple come through on the screen here that just looked and left right away, but now we got one on again. Cool. Right. This is, uh, we finally got some cloudy conditions. That might be helping what we're doing here. Oh, nice, another nice one. one. Another nice one. That's a beauty. Wow. Yeah. Started off really cold this morning, but we're supposed to get to about 20 today. So hopefully the fishing's good. Oh, he's off. Oh, he's he's on just a little guy then compared to yours. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's cool. still a little bit. Yeah. Right on. It's something I've never done before. That's Rainbow trout cool. fishing in the winter. That Aren't is cool. Fun? Yeah, that's neat. Just a little guy, but still, that's, uh, it, they're still fun when they're that size when you're fishing them up panfish here. Yeah, so they're coming in out of that deep hole and running up on this hump. Yep, checking for food. And yeah, pretty cool deal. I'm right, buddy. Where'd you go? Oh, another nice one. Not as big as the others, but still probably in that uh, 13, 14 inch range. Man, he just came racing right in. Smacked it right away. Oh, just a little guy. Look at that. You're getting the big ones, and I get the little guys today. It <laughs> works. Pretty colors though, huh? Really red. Boy, it seems like as this cloud cover is coming, we're really getting a few more, a few more bites than we were right away in the morning with the sun out. Absolutely. Nice little guy. You know, a couple good uh, St. Croix CCI rods for this type of application, 28 inch tungsten tamer. It's a glass rod, medium light, extra fast. But Blake, why don't you talk about your absolute favorite rod for fish and trout and also big pan fish? So caught that on the perch seeker. This is kind of my personal favorite. The reason I like this one over some of the others, first, because of the length, um, 32 inches, gives you a little bit more power to horse them in. Still has that super soft tip, so you can see those bites, but then it transitions right into that backbone pretty quick. This is actually a blend of glass and carbon. You get that kind of shock absorption power that comes with the, the glass, but you also get the sensitivity that comes with the carbon. Oh, too fun. Oh my, another, another nice one. Where are we getting some nice trout today, Blake? This is fun catching these. Yeah, it's another decent one. They fight great. They come right in and they're aggressive. They smack the bait once they commit to it. Very cool. First time I've ever fished for trout in the wintertime. Having an awesome time. And that looks like a bigger fish. Well, it's not a bad one. Is that trout? I don't know if it's as big as the ones better than Oh, jeez. It's not bad. I'm getting some dandies, dude. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Really, anything over that 14, 15, 16 inch mark, that's a quality, quality fish. These little 100 to 500 acre lakes like Blake's got us on today, these are throughout the upper Midwest. Many of you folks know you've got hot spots near you for bluegills, crappies, maybe even trout. Blake, talk about how you scout this lake in the summertime so you can fish it effectively during the ice fishing season. So the biggest thing for me, uh, a lot of these little lakes I'm fishing, they don't have maps. So what I'm doing is I'm spending time here in the summer months, driving around, making a map, trying to find that spot on the spot so that when it comes to ice fishing, I actually have you know, a good idea of where to start. And so it's, it's really helped to increase our catch rate in this situation in particular. Got him. Got him? Nice. Drag screamer here. Too fun. We were just outside doing a little hole hop in this afternoon, just checking some other areas on the flat. Came in here to fish for a little bit. Yeah, that's oh, a little... Oh man, that's a nice one there. I've been kind of king of the peanut today. <laughs> there you go. That's wow. what we're after. That is a beauty. Look at the colors on that. What an awesome fish. Well, I let you get all the big giants all day long, and I just kind of <laughs> was working those little guys. You know, it takes a lot of skill to catch those little ones. That's a good one. 
Oh, that is so awesome, folks. If you've never done winter trout fishing, it is a scream. Had an awesome time fishing with hey, you today. Absolutely. I'm glad you could make it. Thanks for having us out today, folks. Get out there on the ice this winter, chase some trout and your other favorite species. And be sure to check out those St. Croix CCI rods, technique-specific rods that'll put more fish on the ice for you. With Blake Tollison, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. Woo, awesome, dude. That was fun.